Hey everybody, welcome back. Another one for our Fading Nostalgia series, or whatever happened to, or what is happening to. <laughs> and today, of all things, we are talking about restaurants, fam right. family style restaurants, not necessarily kid friendly, because we did talk about that once before, you know, like when we were children, going to McDonald's was a blast or going to Burger King or Pizza Hut it was a huge big deal because it was very child oriented and very few restaurants really are anymore providing a coloring sheet and four crayons mm -hmm. doesn't quite cut it uh, but we're talking about adult family restaurants we're talking about like your um, Longhorn Steakhouse your Golden Corral your Applebee's. Golden Corral. You actually threw it, that in there. Yeah, I know. Well, I, I know that's one of the worst of the worst now. Uh, <laughs> even even um, Rift Tracks makes fun of it pretty much every episode. But uh, <laughs> the Golden Corral's new slogan uh, comes up a lot. I think Mike says that a lot. Mm -hmm. Or, like I said, what was it? Applebee's. Chili's. Chili's. TGI Fridays. TGI Fridays. These places are not up to par at <laughs> all. And it's not a new thing. This is mm -hmm. not a new change. It's been a gradual change. It's been happening for more than a decade at least. Red Lobster is another Ugh. one. More than, more than uh, actually, more than 20 years in some cases. Yeah. Like Golden Corral, Red Lobster. I haven't been able to go to a Red Lobster in forever. We went... Because I insisted. <laughs> I insisted yeah. that we go, but it was it was more than five years ago. And, yeah, it was way longer than five years ago. Red Lobster? Yeah, we mm -hmm. went to Red Lobster in Illinois because I insisted. And um, <laughs> I was like, are you as sure? I sat there, <laughs> I said, we will never come back again. Again. And we have never. Because Back. a lot of the, the new excuse for everything mm -hmm. is the pandemic. Oh, no. because of the pandemic. No. Oh, because of the... No, this is the, the, all that is an, is an excuse for mm -hmm. already failing services. People, these companies were already bad before that. Now this is just the excuse that everybody uses and it doesn't quite fly. And, and the, the, the thing is, what we're talking about is poor service we're talking about um, smaller portions we're talking about more expensive food we're talking about food that is not well prepared yeah it's the not quality, quality of the food. food the portion is fine for me because i yeah. don't eat a lot it is getting smaller um, though. so the but. smaller portions for me is it's fine because mm -hmm. for a long time i used to eat off the kids menu because the um she did because the portions were way too big. But now, like you said, since the portions are getting smaller... Those are those westernized portions. Yeah. Now that the portions are getting smaller, uh -huh. I'm actually able to eat the whole thing. Or at least take it home. Yeah. But you're paying more, you're getting less, and the quality is not there. And we finding that we found that over the years more and more frequently to the point now where we're like... And we had talked about this just recently because yeah. we went to, um, oh, what was the name of the place? It was the App. Was it was Applebee's? Was it Applebee's? I think it was Applebee's. Because this was right after the last show that we went to. Yeah, that Columbus show. Yeah, we had we were stopped like, and uh, got something to eat. We're like, oh, let's try it. Let's go to a restaurant. And after we ate there, we sat and we talked about it. And we're like, you know what? That's it. Because when you can sit there and legitimately say, that we had a better time and better quality going to Steak and Shake and <laughs> splitting a grilled cheese sandwich and fries <laughs> than, than going to a restaurant like that. Something is wrong. Something is wrong and you need he, to... You really can't take David's <laughs> word for it when it comes to restaurants. Oh, yeah? And I'll why explain not? why. Oh, here we go. All right, go on. Explain it, Professor. I'm ex I am, because this irked me for a long time when we got married. David does not eat meat. Uh-huh. So he's very particular about the restaurant. And I'm just like, look, I can eat anywhere. It doesn't matter, because mm -hmm. I eat meat. He doesn't. Mm -hmm. So then you get to the restaurant, he got to look at the menu. Everybody they should look at the menu. They don't have a bean burger or 
veggie burger, whatever. Well, they don't even do the fish right, though. And, and, you know, that's see, the thing. That's it's, what I'm it, saying. They either have salmon or fish and chips, and they ruin it every time. They don't do it right. You you can't, uh, you know, first of all, I'm going to uh, I'm gonna break everybody's heart. If there's fish and chips, the fish is supposed to be cod, not whatever see? they have. Second of all, it should not look like it was a, Gord, a Gorman's uh, TV dinner that they picked up at Walmart. The Gorman's Fisherman's, and they buy the, the sack because they ran out of the real fish. Now, one restaurant we did go to, I must admit, I can't remember what restaurant that was. Mm -hmm. But they told us, oh, um, it's going to be a while on your fish. <laughs> Yeah, because they and had to they run out to Kroger to get it, I'm sure. Yeah, no, it was a Walmart. It, the was the it? restaurant was in a Walmart shopping center. You know how the Walmart is in the back and the I restaurants are in the did. front? But it was one of those TV dinner fishes. Uh, fish. You could tell. You could, like you could tell. Wrong. Even by looking at it, you could tell. <laughs> and he ate it. And <laughs> I was like, this is not right at all. I don't remember what restaurant that was. This is, mint, that, this is that like minced fish product <laughs> that you get from the supermarket. Oh. It is not. I was like, this is not cod. I can smell this and tell you any cod. Uh, but I mean, when you go to a restaurant with a super picky eater, it makes life hard. Oh, come on. <laughs> but if you have... <laughs> <laughs> you complain too a lot. Or, or the last time that we went to Golden Corral. Oh, God. Which she also insisted. That I, we did insist. I, admit, she was like, I did insist. I admit. I did insist. Let's go to Golden Corral. We'll give it a try. And, man, it was jammed. It was jammed. We were waiting how long in line? It was crazy. We, I don't know, but we went. But um, I had my heart set on it because we went to visit my parents. And yeah, that's we true. told them that we would go there. But then things came up and we wasn't able to go and we had to leave. And she still had it on her mind. Yeah. She thought it, she was going to bring her parents. And once it gets in the mind and you got your mind set and everything in, in you is set for that, you can't take it out of there. And I totally understand that. That makes yeah. sense. You know? So we didn't eat all day. Yeah. So that was really the only thing open at that time. It was the yeah. only thing open. So I'm like, well. And Golden Corral can't even get pizza right. <laughs> I love pizza, okay? Oh, God. I'll, he I'll eat, eat any pizza. Yeah. He eats Cece's pizza. Not, not that Ugh. pizza. That pizza. I mean, I started eating it, and I was like, this is wrong. <laughs> this was just done badly. <laughs> the pie was good. The pie was good. That was it. Everything else I ate, I was just like, wow, this is awful. You know, this is like school mm -mm. lunchroom food. I don't food. like Golden Corral. The only oh, thing I eat out of there is chicken liver, and that's it. But, you know, there there are, like, local places. We have, what is it, pizza in, in Euros. Yeah, that it's pizza place. It's not pronounced place. gyro. It's mm. gyros. See, you it's know Greek. you can't go eating with him when you got to <laughs> do all that. But it's... um. It's a pizza in Euros, the Atlanta pizza in Euros, and it's a, a local place. You're 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 in there right away. They get your food going immediately. It's really good. The price isn't bad, and it's a mom and pop shop pulling it off better than any of these chains. Um, <laughs> any of the local uh, hibachi places? Yeah, we love hibachi mm -hmm. grill, and um, so complain. we'll go there. You, you well, know, I'll, no, I'll take that. I was gonna say you can't mess up Chinese food, but yes, you can. Yes, you can. You can. <laughs> and I have been <laughs> some Chinese places where it was horrible, yeah. and some of them was good. Hibachi. I've never been to a hibachi place where it was bad. Now I will mm. say I like some better than others. There are some where it's like way overpriced. Yeah, because we went to one. Oh, there's an God. automatic. Watch out for your receipt. Because uh, people are like, oh, I got to leave a tip. Read your receipt. There's an automatic yeah, gratuity. They already put it on there. And it's really high. You know, the guy is cooking your food. He is custom cooking, yeah, made, I know. You and, know. He, and trying to put on a little show. Yeah. Although he's kind of cut it short if he feels like you ain't paying attention. Yeah. <laughs> but, or if there's a little kid there and they start screaming when that fire blazes Oh, up. I know. He'll, That's his little test. He did test. warn you. He did warn you. He said, it's going to be fire. Are you okay? You okay? <laughs> <laughs> And that one guy was good throwing the fire. I haven't seen. They all, most of them do the same thing. But the one guy had a bowl with burning grease in it, and he was just scooping it out and splashing the flames onto the uh, 
onto the thing with his bare hand. And I was like, okay, I haven't seen that before. He gets into all that. The guy's, I mean, he's doing his best. You know, no, it is cool. Yeah, it is cool. <laughs> it is, and I, I, mean, I watch because the guy is doing it, and I mean, you know, everybody else at it's your table part of is it. That's part on of the, the phone. Yeah, you pay for it, and then you, you got he's something. sitting there uh, juggling uh, his nice. spatula and his uh, and his knife, and you're on there like this. <laughs> yeah, it's insulting. Put the damn. <laughs> that, that's a rule. That's a rule that we have. Every restaurant we go to, we sit right next to each other. We don't sit across. And the phones, they go to the side. Yeah, we don't play. We don't, uh, and we actually talk. Imagine that. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, Plenty people talk. Yeah, sure they do. They talk about what's on the phone, uh, <laughs> or <Anyway>. they complain. <laughs> that, that one woman, she made the chef mad. Oh, my God. Hibachi we went to recently. We went to the Hibachi Grill. Yeah. And this woman, you could tell. She said She was something. high maintenance. Maintenance, big And time. when I say high, I mean, like, to the sky, high yeah. maintenance. Yeah, like, she, she had to <clears throat> eat like this. <laughs> like that with her fork because she didn't want her lip gloss or her makeup to be touched. And trust me, she had about a quarter inch of foundation. <laughs> But um, she was fussing about something. That guy was mad. Oh, God. He did not speak or do anything else but cook the entire time. He even burned something on the grill. He, he was did. So mad. Oh, he the whole place. And, and he was a red hat. They don't make mistakes when they when they start getting up to the different color. There's a there's a hierarchy to the color of hats. But he was yeah, mad. Yeah, he was mad. And I'm sitting there and I'm thinking. And we weren't at that table. <laughs> no. I'm like I would I would have to leave this table because he about yeah. to mess my food up. <laughs> Because he burned up the food, because he's trying to, you know, mess with her and figure out what mm -hmm. she wants. And, you know, you got to, he's custom making all of your food. Yeah. You know, I want this. I don't want that. I want onions. Yeah. And, you know. And just, keeping track of that. Yeah, and, you keeping know. track. And people want all kind of weird stuff. All I want is an extra egg. Extra egg. That's it. <laughs> she does. You know. I'm not going to give the man a hard time. But you know that girl came in there, and boy, they had they the redid, everybody running in circles. Redid her whole meal in the, in a different room. <laughs> in the back, brought it out and gave it to her, and she's I like, "I don't want that. this." I wouldn't have ate it. No, she she, she took did not the touch food. That. She took it, and they they packed it up each thing in a different container. Yeah, but I wouldn't have ate that food. It came from the back. And they cook in front of you? You don't know what guy, they did with... When I worked food. for Frito-Lay, I worked with a guy who used to be a McDonald's manager. And he had said something about that. He said, you know what? He was like, if you're in any restaurant at all, never piss them off. Because you'd be surprised what will absorb into those patties while they're frying. Hmm. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> what, are you, no. what are you doing? He was like, you do not want to know. Just don't make anybody angry, especially if they're cooking. But cause people are evil. It's true. People are evil, but, and that woman was evil. <laughs> but uh, we were talking about speculating. What happened to these restaurants? They used to be better. They yeah, used to be used better. To be it used to be a treat. treat. Mm -hmm. you it know? used to be a treat to go out yeah. to a restaurant. And when I was a kid, we only went <laughs> to restaurants like once a year. We did. I didn't go at all. My mother never brought me anywhere. We went once a year in November. It was um, during my cousin's birthday. Um, my aunt would take all of us mm -hmm. in November to Red Lobster for her birthday. <laughs> Salty lobster. <laughs> but it was good then. Red Lobster was way was better in the in the eighties. And it was another time we always went. It was a place called um, it was called Quincy's, okay. which was. Similar to Golden Corral, um, it wasn't as um, it wasn't a, a, a wild a wild a wild place. You know, you know they they you ordered your food and then they had a buffet, yeah. but it wasn't like an all you can. It was an all you can eat, but it wasn't all of the food wasn't on the buffet. They had certain things on the buffet, mm -hmm. but your food mainly came from the back. Okay. And we went there like once a year, so maybe we went out to eat twice a year. Okay. 
you know. You know I don't what remember. I used to like first. You remember? No, you ever been to a first? It's like a school cafeteria, oh, no. right? But like Piccadilly's. I, yeah, I guess so. And you go by with the tray, and you and you Tell point, them. and they put it on there. Mm -hmm. But you can keep going back up through there like that after you've paid. You can go up again yeah. and get something else that way. That's but right. Pick they had a lot of pie, mm -hmm. and and they they weren't bad. Furs wasn't bad. I liked that. They they used to be a furs in Topeka when I lived there, and they shut it down. And they had one in Colorado. I visited Colorado once, and I was like furs, but uh. <laughs> I ate there too, and that, but that was a long time ago. I don't know if they're still any good or not. But there's a lot to uh, uh, the first thing that people might complain about is they say, "Oh, well, these people don't get paid a, a good wage." That not necessarily true because they got um, the same level then that they get now, even mm -hmm. if there is an increase. And as far as wait staff, they're not really working for the wage that they get from the restaurant. Wait staff is working for the those gratuities yeah the tips they're working for the tips and they get a lot don't let them fool you i used to be a waitress yeah. working on tips yeah it, the 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 money that you get from the uh restaurant itself is negligible it, it's not yeah even, and you don't pay them taxes on that tip. yeah if it's cash yeah it if cash. they if if you write it in on your credit card they're paying tax on it but if you um if you drop it on the table that's that goes in their pocket even though there is a percentage I know that's how they did it when I worked at IHOP, like back in the 80s, like a million years ago, that um, a percentage from the waitress's tips dropped to the uh, dropped to the bust staff as oh, a no. as a courtesy. No, that didn't happen okay. when I was a waitress. That was IHOP though, and that, like oh. I said, that was when I was there in the 80s. I was like 15, but um, and I got minimum wage, and they got the waitress minimum wage, which is a different like two dollars. Yeah, it's and a different wage. Change. But the reason it's like that is because they get paid, uh, they, they, the bulk of their earnings is coming through tips. And because if they paid a higher wage, if they're sitting they're there paying, kill it. if they paid a higher wage, then the restaurant couldn't function. Most people don't realize from the business end of these restaurants, many of them are operating from like uh, on like two to five percent profit, mm -hmm. because their overhead is ginormous. The amount from the amount of waste that goes through sanitation and waste mm -hmm. of the as much food as the uh, restaurant goers are disposing of, they're getting rid of twenty times more mm -hmm. because of state regulations. That, uh, that oversee these restaurants, they throw away so much, you have no idea. And it costs them a fortune even to stay open, even the big chains. Many of them may not be making 5% profit. So back to um, but, so that, what's that's going not on a with it. But um, yeah, they're going downhill. I mean, the food quality is not good. Yeah. Um, even the fast food restaurants, the food quality... Yeah, has gone down, and a it's lot. getting more expensive. Yeah. It's almost like going to one of those other restaurants in some instances. Mm -hmm. If you go to KFC and getting their meal deal, it's like you know, could I have gotten the same thing from Applebee's? And the chicken the is amount? smaller than yeah. it used to be. They used to give it a big old chicken, chicken that leg, a big old bucket of happiness. Yeah, now <laughs> that chicken leg looked like a little baby chicken. A uh, little uh, Cornish game hens. Mm -hmm. <laughs> But it's it, it's just interesting to speculate on it, and I'm sure a lot of it has to do with profit, still because even though wage may not be a, um, paying them more is not it's not going to happen. They're not going to get a better wage out of restaurants, or they're just going to shut down. I don't know if, but, if 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 wages have anything to do with food quality. No, but if they're still cutting corners. Mm -hmm. to try to earn more of a profit or hold on to what profit that they have. There are places where they just simply cannot do it because there's so much oversight from the from the state. I guess. Um, yeah. Is it even worth going to the restaurants anymore? I yeah. mean, I know a lot of people don't like cooking, and now they have that service of oh, like Grubhub hello Hub no doordash no, no like hello fresh oh, where they yeah. send you the food and all you got to do is warm it up it's yeah. like a gourmet microwave dinner you know <laughs> because they, they send it to you it's already kind of prepared all yeah. you have to do is really warm it up and and serve it 
So they got things like that now. And yeah, you got your Grubhub, but it's still coming from the same restaurants. And it's a big True. old fee. I told you about. Um, They're expensive. Yeah, Door I didn't know that. Because stuff. it's a um, place, um, me and this lady at work was trying to get to and the phone kept um kept going out you know every time oh, i know called, it's on the corner i know what she's yeah. talking about yeah and we were trying to call in to tell them what we wanted and then another number i looked on the computer again another number came up but it, it routed us to grubhub mm-hmm. and they wanted like a ten dollar fee and it's like what in the world and i canceled that <laughs> I'm like, nah, I'll just walk over there yeah. and tell them what I want and wait. Yeah, so it can get pricey, but people are lazy. And that's how come things like that exist up until yeah. they find drones. They, they perfect drones doing it, which KFC is already doing in China. Yeah. They have, they, they have, they're, they're, they're on the forefront of that, of having drone deliveries for those meals to get rid of those delivery services. Yeah, but if they get rid of the delivery service mm-hmm. and um, half of their wait staff because or or or, uh, or customer service staff, whatever you call them, mm-hmm. because you know you go to McDonald's or whatever, and they have that board, the quality of the food still isn't good. No, and that's that's the other question. It's like what happened to it, you know? Is it, it the quality's gone down, the price has gone up. They overseas in the hell out of it to disguise how bad it tastes. <laughs> <laughs> so what? A, you know, is it really even worth it anymore? I don't know. Or are people's palates have people's palates gotten that bad over the years? Because yeah. most people in Western in the Western world they eat garbage. They do not eat good at all. They they don't. Almost everything they eat is processed. Yeah. They don't cook. They don't know how to cook. Uh, they, hell, they hardly know how to use a microwave properly. A lot of people. You do is hit the. Yeah. The, the sure. Button. How many microwaves have we replaced at work? All right. <laughs> we get so many microwaves at work. Yeah, it's because ridiculous. because the the some of the staff don't use them right, and if you're not careful, they will burn. The, I mean, the, yeah, the microwave will, will start to burn. Uh, <laughs> you ever seen a microwave with flames? But if you get those cheap microwaves from Walmart that only cost like thirty dollars, they ain't thirty dollars. But I mean, even with a cheap microwave, you ought to know how to use it right. Yeah, that is true. <laughs> it shouldn't be all black on the inside and and sparking whenever you turn it on. Cause, you have to move to clean eating. Yeah, clean eating. But pe- and then you give people real food and they don't like it because their palates are so used to that overly seasoned, overly rich food that they eat real food and they're just like, oh, oh God, they can't, this is horrible. Yeah, they can't, uh, they can't stomach it. And there's nothing wrong with it. It's good stuff. Mm-hmm. And that's a shame. And I wonder if that could be part of it too. Is that that the tastes, people's palates have gotten so contaminated that they can't tell. They can't tell the difference. It's scary. <laughs> yeah, could be. It could be. I don't know if you have any other thoughts on the matter. No, I think we kind of beat that <laughs> horse. I don't know. But, you know, I can throw it out there. Any thoughts, any suggestions? Uh, what do you think about all of that? Feel free to post your thoughts in the comment section down below. Please do give the video a thumbs up if you got something out of it. Share it if you can. Subscribe if you knew all that good stuff. Check out some of the other videos if you are new and see what we do here um and if that's it then what more can i say but thanks for watching and we will see you again soon